There are key connections you can make between the late 19th century today, particularly with respect to African Americans. In the late 19th century, African Americans were trying to understand their sense of political franchise, their civil rights. Today, most recently, with the various struggles that certain African Americans have faced, ranging from Black Lives Matter to conversations about George Floyd. So I'm inclined to think that the work of Paul Lawrence Dunbar, a deep understanding of his life, will provide certain lessons on how we can understand the world we're in today. Paul Lawrence Dunbar was one of the first African American writers to achieve international fame. He was born in 1872 and he died in 1906. He was well known as a poet of his time, but he was also a versatile writer of fiction, of the essay, of drama. My favorite work by Paul Lawrence Dunbar is a book called Majors and Minors. It was published in 1895. On the one hand, he demonstrated versatility with poems in formal English, and on the other hand, recreated lyrics that captured the cadences of what he would call African-American vernacular. It was a kind of bimodal expression of the American voice. I spent the past decade of my life working on him. I think I know him quite well, because on the one hand, I know a lot about his writings, how he approached form and theme in literature, his intellectual approach to politics and culture, but I also know quite a bit about his private life, the letters of correspondence to people ranging from the great celebrities of his time to letters to his mother. All those people provide some dimension of his personality. I also remember going down to Dayton, Ohio, to the Paul Lawrence Dunbar house, and there were artifacts of his clothes, and I had a ruler measuring his shoe size. And so I have a sense of how tall he was. I think one thing that surprised me about Paul Lawrence Dunbar is he was a rather extraordinary individual on the one hand, but he was exceptionally ordinary. He is someone who possessed a range of insecurities about his life. Was he handsome enough? Was he a great enough writer? Was he the kind of person that the world would appreciate? And through those insecurities or anxieties, he nonetheless was able to persevere this research is important because it gives us insight to the various historical issues of that era. This was only a century or so after the founding of this country and it was wrestling with what the world would be like in the wake of slavery, the extent to which America would be reconciled in the face of those challenges. Paul Lawrence Dunbar is relevant today because he understood the challenges of race and racism in the late 19th century, and he also understood the meaning of political progress. There are these local instances that prompt us to think about how far have we actually gone in terms of the progress of African American communities. And I believe his story is a key one for many people to understand today.